Tessa, do you know where room 211 is? Yeah, it's around the corner, first door on your left. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm Dotan. I'm Clady. I'm Alex. And I'm Wilson. I'm Gaia. And we're trying to join Raiders TV. Hopefully, Mr. Yu will let us in. Mr. Yu, are you there? What? Um, maybe we should close the door. Yeah. Let's try again. Why is it raining? What is that? I think that's Mr. Yu. Oh. That's not Mr. Mr. Yu. I Wait, that's not Mr. You. Close the door! Close the door! One more time. Oh. Oh, is that Mr. You? Oh, hey, Mr. You. What are you doing here? Uh, close the door! Oh, close the okay. door! Um. Yes? We're here to join Raiders TV. What did you guys see? We were, it, it was basically like we were in space and we saw a guy running at us. We thought it was you, but it was weird. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. That sounds weird. This is just a normal middle school room to 11 classroom. There's no alternate dimension or weird space stuff going on here. It's a science class, right? No. No, it's not. Let's talk inside. Come on in, guys. So, you want to join Raiders TV? Yeah. yeah. You think you got what it takes? Of course. You got two choices. One, I erase your memories and you'll never ever remember that my classroom is an alternate dimension portal. Or two, you pass the test. All right, guys, what do we do? Both options are pretty bad. Should we ask him if there's a third option? Uh, yeah, what, if yeah, sure. well, what if there's no third option? Then, then we, we choose the second one. We do the test. All right. Okay. Mm. Have you guys decided? Is there, Is there a third, third option? option? No. Okay. We'll take the second one. We'll take the test. Then tomorrow, dress ready for the challenge of your life. Cute. <laughs> Hi, my name is Khalid Brucey, and this is a show I like to call, What's Your Favorite? Today, we will be asking students what their favorite subject is. Eric, what's your favorite subject? Uh, probably math. Science, because Mr. You makes it fun. Math. Math. Hey, math. Me, science. I gotta be LA, not gonna lie. Science. No, technically science. Why? <laughs> because Mr. Yu's teacher. Science. E-O-A. Be science. Be math. Why? Because I'm good at it. Be science is probably math, because yeah. I like a lot and I, my, I'm really good at multiplication. I'll be back next episode with another What's Your Favorite? Hi, I'm Samantha Curry and this is Brain Teaser Challenge. The rules of this game is you'll be questioned five questions. For each question you get correct, you'll get a point. And if you don't know the question, you'll say pass. You have 30 seconds to answer all five of the questions. The first question is, are worker bees male or female? They're male. Mm. Female. Female. Male. Mm. Female. Correct. Female. Mm. Male. Female. The second question is, how many teeth does an average adult human have? One teeth, five. Mm. 36. Mm. Pass. Um, for our children, 21. Um, adults, 22. 25. Mm. Pass. 20? Mm. 24. Mm. Pass. What is the chemical name for salt? Sodium. Mm. Pass. Pass. How many rings does the Olympics have? Seven. Mm. Six. Mm. And five. 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 What is Mickey Mouse's original name? Mickey Mouse. Pass. Rat. Mm. Pass. 
Dr. O'Connors from Cliffside Park Middle School was on the Kelly Clarkson show to talk about her book and relationship she had developed after 9-11. Let's listen to what she had to say. So what, how did you end up with them? Well, out of all the third grade teachers in all of New York City, the letters ended up in my mailbox, which was amazing chance. And uh, it was really one of the sweetest things that anyone could have done at the time. And after we excitedly wrote back, we started a year long uh, relationship where the classes exchanged you know, drawings and holiday cards. And also Elaine got to visit my class and I got to visit Elaine's class. And we started what became a 21-year friendship. Congratulations to Dr. O'Connors for this amazing accomplishment. The eighth grade science honors class were tasked with creating an eight-layer density tower. Let's see their progress. Honey? Why'd you put honey first? Because it's the densest. Why are you putting the ketchup first? Uh, the ketchup is the densest, and then after that we're going to put honey. Okay, on cool. Top. So we're putting our fourth layer in right now. Okay, so what's your first layer? Oh, uh, honey. What's your second? Corn, corn syrup. syrup. Corn syrup, so I can see it. Corn syrup. Uh, this, is, this is the honey. Right here in the middle is the corn syrup, and then at the top is uh, maple syrup. Okay, well, why'd you do it in that order? Because at the bottom, the honey is the most dense, and then like after the honey comes the orange syrup, and then after that is the maple syrup. So how many layers are you gonna do today? Eight. We're gonna do uh, about eight or nine. We need a lot. That's good, is it? Yeah, that's, that's good. Nice job. Mm. Put it in here, put it in here. How many layers you got so far? Um, seven. seven. Yeah, and uh, rubbing alcohol will be our eighth. Okay, do you have any more or are you going for eight? Just eight. All right. We were going to do nine, but then we figured that it might get too messy. Okay, why are you doing this one last? Because, because it's, it's a least dense. Yeah. So how many layers do you have right now? This is like the four, fifth. That's the fifth. Fifth? Yeah. Yes. How many are you trying to go for? Nine. nine. Okay. You think you can get it? Maybe. I don't know. All right. It depends on how it settles. I'm not gonna lie. So how's it going so far? Pretty well. Pretty well. Okay. So it looks like you got four layers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So how many do you guys want to do? I think like nine or ten. It's really thick. That's the yellow people. So wait, why didn't the layers mix together? Yeah. Why, why didn't the layers mix together? Why are they separate? Because uh, each uh, each layer or each liquid has a different density. Oh, right. So we have to we have yeah, to put yeah. it in the that, yeah. Oh, there we go. So how many layers do you guys have right now? Seven. How many? Yeah, seven. Seven. seven? So what are you shooting for? Eight? Nine? How many guys are doing? Uh, I think nine. All right. All right. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. All right, ready, Miss Pessa? Ready. Don't forget, we got to press the number four. Okay. All right, hold it out, press it, and I'll press the key. And then I'll do bounce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it all. Let's press four again to turn it off. And now we got a meter sticks back. Cool. <laughs> yeah, they give us cookies. Okay, one through ten, what would you give us? Nine out of ten. Solid eight. Okay. Pretty good. Um, if you had the chance to, what would you improve about school lunch? Yeah, more variety. What's the best part about lunch? Uh, yogurt and peaches with the cookies. They're mad good. Oh, french fries. Yeah, me too. Um, I may or may not. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what kind of do you want to go to Oh, uh, probably Reese's Pieces because it's my favorite. Oh, Snickers. Why? Twix. Okay. My favorite is Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Reese's M&M's. I'm not with you.
I'm gonna go with this Samantha. I don't know yet, but some people think it's cool. I'm gonna go trick or treating with my friends. Do you wanna go somewhere specifically? Uh, yeah, like, so there's this um, hill that, like, give a lot of houses and they give out a lot of money. Actually, I wanna go to the neighborhood with the rich people. They give out the best stuff. I don't know. I wanna go somewhere like <laughs> I wanna go somewhere that has like a lot of candy. Or maybe like a maze. Or something. Like a scary monster house. I wanna go to like around Dr. Oz's house. Um maybe near Edgewater. <laughs> uh maybe someone from Harry Potter. Probably Mike Myers. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Um, I don't really have one. What are you going to be doing? Um, it's just going to be like a normal day. I don't have a Halloween. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to be sleeping. <laughs> Where is Mr. Yu? Crazy. I see a bell. Oh, over here. Hi, you guys are here. That's good. Uh, I just was erasing Mr. Ryan Fist's memory. He saw me doing the whole teleportation dimension thing. So uh, let's see if you guys are going to pass the test. But before that, these are your new students from a different dimension, and they're from Earth, just like us, so they're human, don't worry. And we're also going to do Raiders TV all together, so we need to each other hi and introduce yourselves. Uh, what's your name? Judith. Samantha. Shri. Anna. All right, everybody take a seat. It's time to begin the test to see if you guys are worthy to join Raiders TV. All right? I will demonstrate first, and then I'll let you guys try. Now there's two types of lightning, if you didn't know. The first type is called the negative lightning, which you've seen 90 to 95% of the time. It's all in the pictures and the videos and stuff that people capture. But there's a very rare lightning that happens about 5% of the time, called the positive lightning, okay? And it's a much more powerful. And if you can harness it, you can actually use it, all right? So I'm gonna show it to you real quick. And if you guys can do this, then you can pass. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take one hand, palm up, and you're going to absorb the positive energy that's in the atmosphere, and you're going to take your other hand, palm down, and you have the negative energy, and what you're going to do is, after you absorb the two energies, you're going to bring your hands together, okay, and you should see a lightning bolt form, and here we go. Whoa! How now hold up, hold up, while you're doing this, okay, I'm going to show you what this is called. This lightning bolt has a name. Well, it's not really a lightning bolt. It's called Chidori, and Chidori stands for a thousand birds, and that's why the lightning sounds like it's a thousand birds singing. Now, you can't do that yet. What you're going to do is a simpler version, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the same energy, put your fingers together, and you should see this. Wow. wow. Okay? And this is a very simple version of that. And if you can do this, which is a simple version, I will one day teach you how to do the more advanced Chidori version. All right? So, let's give it a try. You guys ready? Yes! All right, let's do this. All right, Dotan, give it a try first. One hand up into the atmosphere, grab the positive energy, the other hand down from the earth, grab the negative, concentrate into your index fingers. Whoa! Wait, how did you do that? Oh. It's only your first try. Can we try? Huh? All right, go ahead. Let's see what you guys can do. One hand up into the atmosphere. Grab that positive energy. Other hand from the earth. Grab the negative energy. Yeah. Oh, and Whoa. 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 Well, just put your hands apart. Put your hands apart. Thank you. All right, that's a pretty good job. Nice try. All right, passed. We all were able to do it, so you're joining Radius TV. Good job. <laughs> All right, do me a favor. We're gonna go to a special place. I need you to grab your chairs and push it to the side. Okay. All right. All right, so 
I do this for all members. We do this about once a month, but you can't tell the principal, you can't tell the vice principal, you can't tell your parents, you can't tell anybody, because then everybody's going to want to go. This is just for Raider TV members only. All right, so let's do this. Oh, no. Are we going to the beach? Yeah, we're going to go to the beach, guys. Let's go! Stop. Um, okay. This is not what it seems, everybody. This is not a portal that is used once a month by the Raiders TV team to go to the beach and have fun. This is... This is a... What happened was there was some swamp gas and it got trapped in a pocket and there was an explosion and the light reflected off of Venus and that's what this is. You know what? We're just going to move on to the last part and that's an eye exam and we have a special guest, Agent J, who's going to give you the eye, eye exam. So yeah, Agent J, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. 